a purpose in regards to the Brahmacharya Ashram. Uh, what is the purpose of the Brahmacharya Ashram and for whom it is? This is uh, from Bhagavatam uh, uh, 1926 in the description of Bhishma Dev instructing Mahasya Dishtira. Uh, these were his last instructions about Bhagavatam and Dharma. In Mongolia, Dharmas are, so to speak, <coughs> classifications of different occupations, and Ashram Dharma is gradual progress on the path of self realization. Both are interrelated, and one is dependent on the other. The main purpose of Ashram Dharma is to awaken knowledge and detachment. The Brahmachari Ashram is the training ground for the prospective candidates. In this ashram, it is instructed that this material world is not actually the home of the living being. The conditioned souls under material bondage are prisoners of matter, and therefore self-realization is the ultimate aim of life. The whole system of Ashram Dharma is a means to detachment. One who fails to assimilate the spirit of detachment is allowed to enter into family life with the same spirit of detachment. Therefore, one who attains detachment may at once adopt the fourth order, namely renounced, and thus live on charity only, not to accumulate wealth, but just to keep body and soul together for ultimate realization. Household life is for one who is attached, and the Varnaprast and Sanyasa orders of life are for those who are detached from material life. The Brahmachari Ashram is especially meant for training both the attached and detached. So again, the Brahmachari Ashram is the foundation for the whole life. And we build, based on the principles of Brahmachari Ashram, we build all the other ashrams. For example, uh, we cannot be good Kirihastas if we have not been good Brahmacharis to become very difficult. We cannot be good sannyasis if we have not been good brahmacharis, or if we do not maintain the principles of brahmachari ashram. The principles of brahmachari ashram continue throughout the whole life, and they should be they should be maintained. Uh, before we carry on to avoid making the introduction too long, because there are many quotes, let's together identify. I will need one. Well, you can write it, any volunteer who can write, because I can hear writing. Because I have to be perfect, but okay. Commissioner mm -hmm. Kripa Group. So let's identify. Here we are discussing the, the perspective we, we are having here is when we consider our life our options, like our present situation and looking into the future of our lives. Here uh, there are brahmacharis who have been brahmacharis for, for a substantial number of years. Others are younger brahmacharis. In, in either case, case, it is an, an important factor to look at my life, what I'm doing, where am I going? Is it? It's, it's important. When, well, it, it is like when we are driving, we are, we are traveling, we are driving, so we need to check the signs, where am, where am I? So, of course, we are going back home, back to God, that's a, that, that's a desirable uh, ultimate end. But what path am I following? So, what are the foundational principles of brahmacharya that need to be considered in general, and particularly when looking at possible options. Do I remain a Brahmachari? Do I get married? Do I prepare for taking sannyas? What do I want to do with my life? That, that's a question. The question, maybe 
let's move to the next. The question is from the, in, okay, here there is a description of the Upa Kurvana Ramachari and the Lishtika Ramachari. Chiyo Prabhupada's court for on this matter. Uh, basically, Chiyo Prabhupada explains that we may take a vow for a period of time, for some years, or we may take a lifelong vow. But generally, the process was, was determined, was time frame. So this will be an example, a principle to be considered. This time frame. It is not ambiguous, it is defined. That's I get this as an example. Okay, please, say principles to be considered. Is it clear the question? Principles of Brahmacharya? To be considered when making, when making a plan for life. Uh, what will be the principle if you say detachment will be the principle? Not wasting time. <coughs> okay, not wasting time. Maharaj? What kind of service am I going to render? Service. Type of service. Yes, if I want to be a monk, I mean, uh, not, not, it will not be very conducive, for example, that they sell paintings to in the temple. I mean, sometimes in the past we did these things, and where uh, not, that will be an example that it's not. So, so then you um, What happens in my older age? What happens in my older age? Okay, look. So will be, what will be the principle? Okay, that will be the, the, the thought. How can we start, abstract the principle? Um, what will be the principle for that? What happens in my old age? How do I maintain? Hmm? Maintenance. How do I maintain? Maintenance, okay. Uh, maintenance. I was thinking also, one, one principle related to that will be long-term vision. I do not think only now, I think the law, it's a lifelong plan, this is the, the Asian system, it's not lifelong plan. Sometimes we want to save time, and then we do not save time because we do the, we take the wrong decision, so we should be careful there also. We will see some words especially about it on that. Uh, so the question of taste, what do you really like to do? Taste, personal taste, yeah. Personal inclination, this is what Shasta says. It, the, it, the Brahmachari, after studying in the school of the Guru, in the Guru Kula, in the house of the Guru, he will decide what to, what to, uh, 